welcome back to the channel. Um, this is part two of the two part series of stripping the interior of the E46. Um, if you haven't already watched the first part I uploaded a couple of days ago, um, in this video you will find out the total amount of weight saved from the car and the reason there is two videos in this series is the total time for it to be one video was like 50 minutes and I ain't putting you guys through 50 minute videos. I think I'd draw the line at like 30. But um, yeah, hope you enjoy it and let's get to it. Alright guys, so it's the next day. Hello car. Um, let's crack that open. Oof. So, with the BMW E46, right, you got the key, key here, and that's lock, that's unlock. If you hold unlock, come on, there we go, alright, pops them out, opens the sunroof, pops the side vents out too, that's just, just from there, on a 2002 BMW. Um, we got the seats back in, uh, it's pretty, pretty bare now, still works all, all the same, got that trashy cover thing off, just need to get the, rid of a few other bits, um, I put the whole weight savings in the back because I couldn't fit couple cars in the garage with, with it there, so so that's there for the moment. Uh, one second. So yeah, that, that's pretty much that. Um, next up I'll weigh all the parts and see what we see what we get to with weight reduction. I know my spare tire and Rear seats all together were 57 kilos, and hopefully we can we can top that by quite a bit with with all. Like there is a good amount of foam, as you can see. There's heaps of foam that was in here, and it's not that loud. We took the car for a spin last night, and it's not that loud without all that stuff in there, so that's good. Um, I might get some sound deadening put into it down the track, but I just wanted to have a have the stripped interior feel. We left the door cards on, so door cards are still here. I might remove them. It seems pretty straightforward. There's a little focus. In there is a hex screw, and in there, but otherwise, I don't think there's many others. There's one here, one here, and one there. There's one in behind the door handle, but I want to keep the, <laughs> the door handle on. Um, I couldn't get the railing, the this part back onto there, it just wouldn't clip into these, they're a pain. I might try again later, but yeah, it didn't. just didn't work when I first tried, when I put the car back together last night. Um, yeah, that's so far where I'm at. Uh, I'm gonna give the door cards a shot with the torque spits and see how we go. Shouldn't be too hard. I just want to experiment and see if these three bolts will actually take the whole setup off or if I take it off, will it just take this off and not the actual door panel? Or will there be bolts underneath that that then take the whole door cut off? Let's see.
All right. So, thank you to Focus, to Shop Live TV, <laughs> on helping figure out that there is actually a talk spit. <laughs> Come on. Inside there. Excuse the camera taking an absolute shit with the focus. So that is going to be the next next one removed. That's what it is. Now this is where it could get a bit, how you going? So I gotta, why'd that lock? What the fuck? I went on my key. Now, I gotta, Alright, I'm gonna take you guys out for this one. Whoa! We've got things going on in here. Um. That is the door card, obviously. Um, just had to disconnect that from the speaker. And then that. All right, let's test something. Hop in the car. And then pull it shut. If I grab this and what? Does that need to get? I think that needs to get pulled. Okay, that's very, very odd how that was all working. That wasn't good. Um, so now we've got one and two stripped. This is going to be a lot of weight savings. 
as well as <laughs> all that. Alright, so we have taken pretty much everything needed out besides the actual seats. Um, I'm not going to take the seats out to weigh them because it's just too much of an, an effort to get them back in. Like, it was a pain in the ass last night to weigh them. So I'm going to guess them to be around 40, maybe 40 kilos each. Like, they're, they're no slouch seats. They're fucking heavy. Um, gonna weigh all this, but I'm gonna weigh myself. So with the camera, I'm 72.6, so say 72.5, and then just divide it by all the stuff that we remove. Alright, so, so far I've weighed pretty much all of it, besides the seats, I'm not taking them out, I'm just going to estimate the seats to be around 40 kilos each. So, what we've got is, alright, we've got, uh, door cards 19, rear seats 24 kilos, carpet and foam 15 kilos, spear wheel and other 23 kilos, um, seats 40 kilos each estimate um, so without the seats that brings it to 81 and then plus 80 that's 100 no, come on, 161 kilos gone and then maybe I'm not sure what to put that down um, I'm not sure how much the brides weigh so I'll go grab one of them and chuck it on the scale with me and see what it weighs. But um, I'll just times that by two to get the rough weight what we should have when the seats are fitted to the car. I've grabbed the bride bucket and we're gonna chuck it onto the scale and see how much it adds to my weight. So once again, my weight, 22.6, the camera. I'm gonna do it without the camera to get accurate. So, <laughs> Let's just wrap you guys into the sunroof. So, yeah, my camera is two and what two kilo. So, seventy point four. Also, how how fucking nice are these? Look at that. Let's see. Eighty-five. Hmm. So seventy point four by eighty-five. So both my brides are gonna equate to not even one of these stupid pieces of shit, which is which is quite impressive. Um, but yeah, so we've still got we've still got the. Oh, it's locked. We've still got all the boot shit in, I'll just... We've still got... Fucking hell. We've still got all this in, but obviously the tyre's out of there. Battery's there. That spare thing. But otherwise... It's pretty much done. Um... I'm gonna debadge it pretty soon. Get rid of that. Needs a clean, filthy. Um, yeah, these are the buckets. I haven't shown you guys the brides. Um, before anyone asks in the comments, are they real brides? 
they are not real brides. They are reps because real brides are not ADR approved and we need ADR approval to go on a track. Like they won't know if they don't right, this track looks fucked. They um they won't know if they don't ask, but better to be safe than sorry. And for how much I got them, no real complaints here. Um Yeah. Peace. Uh, I think that's going to wrap up wrap up today's video with the car um, I actually had to film the rest of it today so you'll see when I got the seats into the car last night from then I cut to this morning because I just ran out of time and daylight to get some good good lighting because this garage light is good but not good enough um, I'll show you something so on that side. So before when I first took the door cards out, I hopped in, oh, sat down, closed the door, right? I need to get rid of the airbags too. They're freaky. They're, they're scaring the shit out of Kion. <laughs> um, so what you do is, I don't know if I showed you guys, but you just pull and push. But earlier, it closed, and I pulled, and it wasn't doing anything, like it literally stayed there. So, I was in the passenger seat, and I was like, shit, have I like, have I trapped myself? And I tried everything, I tried the door handle from the outside, didn't work, so I started like, I started skitzing out, I was like, oh fuck, but, and you're good, it works now, but. It was a bit a bit freaky being stuck in your own car, not being able to get out. But I reckon that's that's a wrap on <laughs> on how to strip your BMW E46 interior completely ghetto ghetto style. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.